This is AP News Minute. A massive tax package that could keep tax rates at their current level is headed for a House vote today, even as many Democrats complain about it. The Senate overwhelmingly passed the tax plan yesterday. The president wants the House to pass it without changes so he can sign it into law. A judge is set to decide whether WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange will be freed or remain in prison. Assange has been in prison since December 7th, following his surrender to British police over a Swedish sex crime warrant. He denies any wrongdoing. New foreclosure figures show the number of U.S. homes repossessed by lenders in November fell to the lowest levels in a year and a half. It's the result of foreclosure freezes enacted by several banks following allegations that evictions were handled improperly. Even with the lower numbers, there still have been more than 980 foreclosures in the U.S. in 2010. If you plan on flying, get your airline ticket now. Several U.S. airlines have raised fares by up to $10 per round trip. The CEO for American Airlines says the increase is based on supply and demand and the recent increases in fuel costs. Ed Donahue, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute.